Oh, where did you get those Mario's? Ladies and gentlemen, viewers around the world, straight out of Narawahia, via Titahi Bay, here's Mario. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, 3.5, how's your day been? Mine's been, well, very good, fantastic. I've been so alert all day. I got such a good night's sleep last night. I'm sort of beginning to review my sleeping policy. But anyway, let's have a look at the snippets. Well, it's 12.30, off to bed, an early night. Marvellous. Um, yeah, well, that's all there is to say, really. Nothing much. I got my vlog and everything done. And oh, I watched a couple of YouTube clips. And bit of this and a bit of that. And now I'm off to bed for an early night. Hopefully we'll be good and fresh in the morning and get a, a huge day of work done tomorrow. All good. Cheers. Let's see what happens. Good morning. Eight o'clock. Heading out to Wintec. I thought I'd sleep in a little bit this morning. I um, had a lovely little snooze there. Just thinking about things lying in my warm bed. And I'm um, heading off into Wintec a little bit later. I'm hoping that I'll get a, a park. But if not, well, I'll just go somewhere further away and walk on in. Time's not particularly critical at, at the moment. Uh, last day of the midterm break and six weeks to go. So yes, looking forward to a nice day. I've got um, some plenty of marking to do, lots of stuff marking and what have you to do. Um, infusion coming up on the weekend so not so sure how that's going to go. The um, sun's really shining brightly in my eyes here this morning. It's quite hard to see. Actually, my eyes are starting to water a little bit. But um, anyway, we'll, we're good. just at a very awkward angle. Um, I might need to put this window down. Not a lot of traffic here on the Great South Road actually. Um, here could do with a bit of a rear. Oops, no. I've got a big line coming here now. Might be getting into the um, school hour when the starting to traffic builds up as kids going to school. School usually starts here at 9am. Alright, so we're off on the Great South Road heading towards Wintec. Uh, it's a beauty day. Beautiful. Sort of some wispy cloud around but generally a nice blue sky, plenty of light and uh, Marvellous. Alrighty, let's see what happens. So, um, yeah, how did my day go? <laughs> well, it was an interesting day at Wintec. Had lots of uh, interactions with my colleagues in one way or another. And, um, yeah, I did some prep for a class on Monday. Um, got all ready for Monday. I thought that would free up some time for some marking. I completed a small marking assignment and I've still got lots of marking to do so I can get that done. But as it turns out I'm going to a uh, family funeral on Monday so I won't be able to um, attend the class that I prepared for. So that's a wee bit unfortunate on many accounts, but uh, well, um, that's the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. So yeah, I um, got all my prep done and 
it sort of finished around four or so I went down to Countdown and bought all my groceries a selection of just about everything in the store that you can make out of rice <laughs> so I'm trying to go hard on my rice uh, my rice diet and um, at the moment and just get back on track um, with getting my weight trending downwards and uh, after well I actually I met my neighbours at Countdown in Hamilton and uh, Gloria went and did the shopping and Trev and I had a bit of a chat about neighbourhood things uh, that we live or oh, maybe 50 metres away from each other <laughs> but seldom see each other one way or another so yeah and then I went to the night market and got some food there a couple of pork buns and a um, some pork dumplings and that was my tea um, unfortunately I found a few things at the supermarket a little bar of chocolate and a bounty bar and a bag of popcorn and some other things but I've only just uh, managed those so weight wise I think we're a wee bit off track but uh, anyway we're working on it so yeah that sort of rounds out the day where what who I've they've got all the clues in place but nobody's um, got the finishing um, put the finishing touches to it so I'm waiting I'm going to do that after my vlog tonight and I hope that someone might crack it and then we can move on to another one but oh well time will tell all good cheers so here's the diary to tell us the story of the day four five five three steps yep happy with that branded yes did you see in the picture the branded glasses the morios um, i've been promoting the morio band for quite some time now and uh well you know i've got over 700 subscribers so you know the words getting out there ever so slowly at a glacial pace or subglacial pace probably i have still got some intentions of doing some merchandise all of it to be hand drawn which puts some limitations on it but nonetheless we're working on that uh yes where what who yep they're um it's there but thereabouts did some preparation emails today and 80.8 this morning i was quite pleased with that so yeah not too bad we're trending down but probably going to trend up anyway let's have a look at today's challenge uh, this question just jumped out on me given my rice diet that i sort of follow and i had a question about that um just yesterday so which of these foods would someone on a ketogenic diet avoid red meat rice cheese or eggs so put your answer in the comments below the video yesterday's question related to the size in relation to body of the kiwi egg and it's the equivalent of a human giving birth to a four-year-old child quite an effort on the part of the kiwi to uh, produce an egg that size but nobody was able to get the answer for that one yesterday so the spot on the hall of fame uh, well is vacant and so that brings us to the end of today's vlog thanks to everybody for watching commenting liking and subscribing all of the behaviors that help to support the vlog and uh, help it to move forward and grow so thanks very much all good cheers fuel the jet that's all folks this has been a mario presentation recorded live in our studio at narawahia capital of the waikato district a district towards the top of the North Island 
of Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud. We're a little country right at the bottom of the globe, a place where Kiwis live in a paradise we like to call God's own country.